iPhone 10 pre-orders began, and boy was that a crazy mess in the morning. Google downplays the issues that are currently plaguing the Pixel 2 XL, and we get a possible date of when to expect the OnePlus 5T. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if I look like crap, that's because I feel like crap. Waking up at 3 a.m. for a phone is... it's crazy, Apple. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. Boost Mobile is famous for its recent four line for $100 deal, but uh, the company is actually making that even more compelling. As of now, you can get five lines for 100 bucks, and you can even add some Android phones to the list, which is crazy. You can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about the OnePlus 5T. A lot of people are asking themselves exactly if this phone is going to happen and when. And uh, well, yesterday we saw the Oppo R11s leaks and announcement, sorry, and uh, that pretty much confirms the design. Now it's the date, which apparently will happen on November 16th. Stay tuned, we will let you know. Now let's talk about Google and Android 8.1. For those of you wondering exactly what changes are we getting, we hope that a lot of it has to do with fixing the Pixel 2 XL display, but uh, we also noticed from the developer builds that there are enhancements in the battery indicator for accessories. This was the major thing that Oreo brought, the fact that now you can get that information just like you can on iOS. The only problem is it was not necessarily a great design, so uh, that's apparently going to change in addition to other things that you can learn more in the description. And speaking of Google and the Pixel 2 XL, the company has just chimed in over the issues and has mentioned two things. Number one, apparently we're getting more warranty, up to two years, uh, though I'm not exactly sure if there are certain conditions or not. I do believe that it's not for every country. You can find the list in the description. But the second thing is that there will be an extra vivid display option to be pushed out soon with a software update. How soon, I don't know, but I am hoping that it is very soon as yeah, that screen looks very dull. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the iPhone 10 pre-orders. Look at my face. I'm running on three hours, well, four hours of sleep mainly because of this pre-order. I was lucky enough to find an iPhone 10 for pickup on November 3rd. Bear in mind that 3 a.m. when the pre-orders began, there were literally no phones available to be shipped to arrive on November 3rd. Everybody was getting information for November 17th. It was just crazy. Apple didn't even start the launch at, uh, you know, 12.01 a.m. Pacific. It started more like 12.05 and then it just went snowballing down from there. Point is, uh, we've got a unit for review, that's great. Well, we actually had to order two units, uh, which is an interesting story. But anyways, it leads me to the question today, were you able to pre-order your phone? Which model did you get? In my case, I got both colors, uh, but uh, the first one that I'm getting is apparently the space gray. We would love to know in your case uh, what happened. Leave us a comment down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and hit that subscribe button up here for more videos like this one. You can watch yesterday's Pocket Now Daily up here and our impressions on the camera of the Google Pixel down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you on Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern.